Alright, Buckles, you might want to clench your butt cheeks because even Charlie Intel at this point is telling people to not expect anything from Modern Warfare 2. I just cannot even compute that Activision ended up getting sued on top. We also are hearing some Call of Duty games getting removed from the store, so there is a whole lot of shies are going around. Ladies and gentlemen, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, take care of your loved ones, don't chase that pom pom, chase your dreams, okay? Because our first story. Uh, wrong one. Activision Blizzard has been charged $35 million by the SEC for failing to maintain disclosure controls related to complaints of workplace misconduct and violating whistleblower protection rule. Bruh. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, we're gonna let the homie shake for oh, this one. shaking! And the situation that is so wild, I mean, everybody just gather on, okay? Gather on for a minute. I know this is kind of one of those things that uh, everyone would be looking at, would be like, okay, you know what, Activision gets sued every single day. It's not even news at this point. They get sued every single day. And I see what you're saying, but you might want to like pump the brakes real quick because this is one of those oh shiza moment because this situation has been ongoing. I mean, five years, not even five years. We're in 2023. I thought like 2021, like bro. Hey, yo, what the f <laughs> Like we're in 2023. So this has been ongoing for almost seven years. Seven years, that is absolutely wild. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been once again about that California lawsuit. Obviously, every YouTuber covered that, except for the YouTubers that constantly get flown out. If they were if they were like, okay, you know what? If we talk about it, Activision will never fly us out. And this is the reason why they never covered it. But most of the YouTubers actually covered it. And Bruh. this situation has been ongoing for so long. Uh, once again, we're talking about like Activision employees allegedly spanking their female employees, telling them, hey man, we gotta do Easter eggs unwillingly. They were stealing baddies milk. Not just that, they were having cameras installed in the public bathroom bathrooms at Activision allegedly in fact not even allegedly they said that uh, like that's what the, the the lawsuit said for the California I mean Bruh. some of the craziest that's stuff man law. some of the craziest stuff and they are now settling down and they are paying 35 million dollars so they got that 35 million penalty and I feel like I mean 35 million is like pennies for Activision can a brother perhaps get those uh, three 35 million pennies or something Bruh. like that uh, special like button if you deserve to get 35 million immediately okay this following story is also kind of wild okay so this is about the xbox situation we're gonna get down to the call of duty games that are getting removed and what charlie intel said about call do not expect anything from modern warfare 2 as well eu regulators sent microsoft and antitrust oh wrong one antitrust warning over its acquisition of activision blizzard stating that the deal would harm fair competition in the industry I wrong. I, I want to know is that wrong is that facts where the Sony ponies at though if you're a Sony pony Let me see you. Okay, if you're an X bot Let me see you Kaji because apparently this situation has been wilder than Johnny Sins movies guys one year one year, okay? They have been ongoing with this situation for a solid year. Can a brother perhaps at this point just let them have it, bro? Like just let that let Microsoft have it or cancel it permanently. Shut your Guys, we gotta talk about new games. Microsoft says it's confident it can find a path for it with the EU regulators on their concerns via political. So we got Sony attacking, we got the EU regulators attacking, we got the FTC getting their schlongs involved, and Microsoft is trying to defend it, and they're also also getting their schlongs and also everybody's after the call of duty everybody's after the pom pom and this is why i say guys like don't chase a pom pom okay let the let the pom pom chase you kaji but also in the news this one is uh, ow, this one is kind of wild okay yes we need more multiplayer maps says charlie in content but studios working on resurgence maps are not 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 also working on multiplayer content this is one of those oh shit oh shit also, if you expect more than two 6v6 maps in season two, just don't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is where we at as a community. Even Charlie Intel is trying to lower everybody's expectations. They are telling you that you need to be a defeated gamer. This is my past. This was my past. I was a defeated gamer, but no longer, ladies and gentlemen, no longer. I refuse to be a defeated gamer. You're telling me a multi billion, not million, with a B, 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 B. Multi-billion dollar company cannot produce more than two maps every two months. And we're talking about guys like remaster maps. Hey, yo, what the f 
we're talking about two remaster maps. They're gonna give us two remaster maps, guys. Stupid. And you're telling me that they cannot give us like three remaster maps? Is that is that what what's up with this? But they're telling everybody to lower their expectations down. And ladies and gentlemen, the situation here is that okay, I gotta show you this. Okay, this one is gonna knock your socks off, guys. Warzone 2 DMZ Player Slam Season 2 content, basically saying that Toxic Gamers content locked behind seventy dollars for Modern Warfare 2 Paywall. Now the situation here is that apparently there's gonna be like new areas new maps or some new missions some bull squash like that that's gonna be coming in dmz and dmz is apparently free to play free to play right warzone 2 is free to play but you're you cannot play those missions unless you buy modern warfare 2 <gasps> You gotta buy Modern Warfare 2, and if you buy that, that's when you can play this brand new free content. Ladies and gentlemen, these are some money-making schemes, guys. Sometimes you gotta learn from Activision. This is kind of wild. Warzone 2 DMZ players are currently frustrated that new Season 2 content is being locked behind a paywall in the form of Modern Warfare 2. I mean, bruh. Bruh, like that is some of the wildest thing ever. And you guys wanna see what happened? Let me show you this, okay? Forcing players to buy the $70 game to unlock the new missions in the free-to-play DMZ mode seems like a dumb move. And quickly after to this one, Warzone QG responds by saying that they, they run a business, not a charity. Uh, then you're a bigger Activision shield than me nowadays, bruh. Like guys, this is this is just stop man. Just stop and check this, okay? And I want to know from you like what platform you play on. Do you play on Sony Ponies? Do you play on Nintendo? Do you play on PC Master Race or uh, Xbox? I want to know where you at because this situation has been ongoing for a little bit and they always tell us that digital is the way forward. You got to buy games digitally. They always tell you, right? Like digitally it's better for the environment. You're saving the climate. It's cheap you get instant access they always want to push and to a certain extent it's kind of true though right Bruh. because even i buy the games digitally because once you buy digitally you can preload you can stream the game instantly so that kind of makes sense but what about people that want to buy discs well you can go pound sand because check this out microsoft is removing several xbox 360 games and dlcs from xbox store starting february 7th oh shit, oh, shit. Oh. including advanced warfare and Call of Duty Ghost. Now, I get it that Call of Duty Ghost is like... BOMBOCAD! Advanced Warfare is also like... BOMBOCAD! But, but I mean, damn, bro. Like, can a brother perhaps not see that? Thankfully, it was not Black Ops 2, though, but uh, we got all of these games. If you want to read, you can definitely pause the video and you can read what games are getting removed. But this is absolutely wild, right? Because you know for the fact that one day they will get rid of Black Ops 1, they will get rid of Black Ops 2 as well. They will get rid of all the digital games eventually. It's like you pit for these games, but you don't own them. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen because they are in fact canceling everything down. Click on this video, it's a massive video, it's a must watch video, or click the video on the left if you're into horror and UFO content. This is on my brand new channel, check these videos out guys and I will see you right there.